good morning, my beautiful friends. I just reviewed my vlog from the last time I was in Egypt and I realized I was like not doing very much talking. So, hey, it's me. I'm headed down to my room. My room is like a cave. It's the best. It doesn't get any internet or cellular service. So I sleep like a little baby in it. Here, let's get it. Now. I would show you it. I can show you it. It's a little messy right now because Luke moved in. So things are less organized. This is my cabinet. I just got back from Istanbul. So my stuff saw, I got to do some laundry. And then this is the room. If you guys don't know about this lotion, this lotion has saved my skin. I dry brush every day and then I put this on and it has absolutely healed my skin, changed my skin. It is like the holy grail. If you use this, let me know. It's just amazing. So the plan for today is going to go to the museum. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I hear there's lots of great stuff to see. I wanted to go to the new museum, but I don't think it's going to work out this trip, but that's okay. I'll be back in Egypt because I really love this country. <laughs> I got like, I got a lot of love for Egypt. It's just really special. It's a really special country. I don't think I would like buy a house here, but I love that I have friends here that I can come and visit. I just met up with Yosef, who's another one of my friends. Uh, but I met him in uh, Korea, actually, when I was for the Fortnite event with Tifu. He used to be Tifu's manager. Uh, now he's a friend of mine and we met up and I saw him in Dubai and then I saw him again here last night. Luke and I went for some shisha and dinner with him. But so I'm going to put a bathing suit on and go sit outside in the sun and then shower and get ready for the museum and then hopefully meet up with Sabrina. This top is too small. <laughs> His bottom is too big. You're on my vlog. Oh, hi vlog. How's everyone doing? It's a beautiful day here in Egypt. What are you reading? Uh, Atlas Shrugged. Exploring the Egyptian Museum today. Thank you. Oh my God. The level of detail is just.
finished in the museum. I thought it was really beautiful. There's a ton of stuff in there, but it also feels like they're in the process, which I know they are, of moving a lot of it to the new museum, which I can't wait to go to. Like, oh this just God, gets me excited for the new museum. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. And I just feel like all of this history is so valuable. Um, and it feels like for many years it hasn't had the proper like management and support and infrastructure. So I'm excited to see Egypt creating more systems for more people to experience this and also for all of this art and historical pieces to be preserved um, and brought to life in an even bigger ways. So very I hope, cool. I hope the new museum has more information too. Oh, I definitely will. Yeah. I think this is just like, this one is in a transition. That's why like most stuff didn't have little things to read or papers or if it did it was just like a description of what it was that you could clearly what the person was wearing. see what the person was wearing but yeah it was great. Also what I would really like to do is for Luke and I or if Luke can't come this trip I would love to go to Luxor still and go and see the temples and the pieces where they were meant to be not where they've been pulled from because it does feel a little weird when they've been pulled from somewhere like we went into that this one room that had a lot of the mummies in it. My legs, literally, like my legs, got physically heavy, and I felt a little nauseous and a little dizzy in that room. And it, I don't know. It was powerful though. Like you can feel some energy in there. So the chaos of Egypt is so tangible. I think the first time I was here a year and a half ago, when I first met everyone on the Red Sea, I was in Cairo for 24 hours and I had probably the biggest culture shock of my life to that date because it is like so chaotic. There are people everywhere, animals everywhere, cars everywhere, tuk-tuks, donkeys and horses pulling, and there's no rules on the road. People don't stop at stop signs. People cross the street on the freeways just w walking you get picked up by your bus on the freeway there's sheep getting herded on this freeway and it's just like this absolute chaos it, it kind of reminds me of like whether it's like a drug trip or like a life experience or a medicine journey where you enter the area or the state and you're like, whoa, <laughs> this is really overwhelming. There's just so much stimulation. There's so much going on. Like this is totally unlike anything I've ever experienced before. And then you have the choice to either resist it and try to control it and try to still be yourself within it and uh, like stand up and change it or absolutely totally surrender and get into the flow of it. And if any of you guys haven't had a plant medicine journey or have an experience in life similar to just being in Egypt, you'll understand that if you resist, it's gonna cause you pain. And here, honest to God, like you might even die. Like you might even die crossing the street if you're not able to find that flow state moving through the traffic with everyone else. Like there's like this flow that people tap into. And you can also, we'll see this if you ever go to Burning Man too, the way the bikes flow in and out of each other. If you're in the flow with the people, you're safe but if you are resisting if your brain is somewhere else and you're not in the present moment and you're gonna get caught up by it we've left the museum and we did a walk across one of the famous bridges Luke forgot the name <laughs> I wasn't even listening so um, and we're walking to the tower to go to the sky deck and then we're gonna go to here for dinner but this, if you guys are thinking of coming to Cairo, I think it's a nice little excursion. And it was a nice little walk. Yeah. Um. I've actually felt like my physical form get step out of my head and like into its like intelligence and then like walk me across the street and stop where I have to stop. Like to the point where I'm not actively thinking about what I should be doing, but my body is acting in, in its perfection with the flow. And it's like a real, it's like a trip. It's so cool. So. <laughs> Uh, my experiences in my past prepared me to be in Egypt and I love it and there's so much love here and like the smiles you get back from people like because you guys know that I smile at everyone I make eye contact with and the smiles you get back from people just genuine like kindness and love here
to go to a art space, like a co-working studio at the Chizira House in Cairo, in Semelec, Semelec, the island here. And it was so cool to see some young artists gathered and their works being shown. And I just love seeing all these different sides of Cairo. Like they just, there's everything. A 20 million person city. Thing. And it's really cool to see a lot of the art getting supported here. What are you gonna get? Get a golden milky. Oh, the fruits are good too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 